Hello, here we are once again with Muki Tenenbaum exploring his disillusionist philosophy, his misalgic theories about human behavior through this ongoing series of videos. And we have uh, dedicated a couple of videos already to unintentional states, which are states uh, during which we do not suffer. We spoke about sleep, we spoke about sleepwalking through the day. It's a sort of fast forward. But what we are going to try to explain now is how disillusionism and misalgic theories view the transitions between intentional states and these other states of sleeping or sleepwalking where consciousness, intention, and thus suffering don't play a part. Because it's strangely enough, we cannot choose, we cannot rely on our intentions to shift into one of these states or to exit one of these states. So that's what we are going to try to understand in this particular video. Well, first of all, let's take sleep, okay? Uh, you cannot decide to go to sleep. You can't. And you cannot decide while you're sleeping to wake up. Neither of the two work mm. at all. Of course, you can, uh, you can fall asleep. In fact, you will fall asleep even if you don't want to go for a sleep, mm -hmm. you're very, very, very tired. Of course, you can try to find a way around it, but to decide to fall asleep, to decide to, to wake up, you can. And uh, the same thing with uh, sleepwalking. But let, me, let us think, so what can you do if you want to go to sleep? Well, we are, what, what is a human being but a hacker? We are hackers. We hack, we hack the land, and we put the seed before it rains, so the seed will, will, will spawn a plant. Yes, that's what we do. We're hackers. We hack each other. We hack, and here we also try to hack ourselves. How do we hack ourselves? First of all, it's easier to go to sleep from a state of sleepwalking, that means the fast forwarding, into sleep, than from the state of intention. Yes, mm -hmm. when you are in the middle of a conversation with somebody, something very important, now it's time to go to sleep. It's very hard. I have to unwind. And they say mm -hmm. I have to unwind means I have to try to first sleepwalk, then fall asleep. That 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 will be the way. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? So you try to do the same thing that normally you do. So you you go to the bed and you open the bed and you put yourself in pajamas and and you brush your teeth and you comb your hair. I don't know where people comb their hair before going to sleep. Probably they're going to meet somebody while in their dreams, but <laughs> they do that. You see that in all the movies, it, it, women combing their hair before they go to sleep. <laughs> so <laughs> so you do all this. You go into bed. Mm -hmm then you turn off the light or turn on the light or you leave the light on or do you put on the television, you turn off the television, you watch, read a book, put some music, whatever you do, you, tell, you, 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 you do all that and hope to fall asleep. Uh, if that doesn't work, then there is, of course, drugs that help you fall asleep. Yes? Uh, you can, um, you can have, uh, you can take a, uh, Marijuana, you can you can take alcohol, uh, you can take sleeping pills. There's many ways that uh, the chemical uh, methods to fall asleep, and eventually, probably, they, they you will fall asleep. I remind everybody that insomnia is like one of the biggest uh, uh, pandemics. Uh, <laughs> now the word is the, the word is so common uh, in the world. So insomnia is really a big problem. Uh, so falling asleep is really hard. You cannot decide to fall asleep. On the other hand, as I said, if you are tired, very tired, you can do whatever you want. You will fall asleep unless, again, you use chemicals. And you can take mm -hmm. some pills to stay awake, but not for long. Yes, after that, the whole thing breaks. You have to go to sleep. But you can help somebody else to fall asleep. You can, uh, you can sing a lullaby. Mm -hmm. uh, to, no, better works on a child than on another person. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, uh, or, or you can, as I say, help yourself and even count, count uh, sheep, you know, sheep, uh, sheep counting methods. Um, so what about sleepwalking? What about sleepwalking? Can I decide to sleepwalk? No. No, you cannot decide to sleepwalk. In fact, the moment you want to sleepwalk, let's say you want to unwind, you can try, you can put some music, you can try to have uh, the things around you. What do you say about all this, Florence? Mm. No, but I, I was going to ask you about the way out, but I, I think uh, you're going in this direction <laughs> on your own. It's, as it is evident that I cannot 
induce myself a state of sleep or sleepwalking willingly because as long as, as there's will there is no sleep nor sleepwalking uh, there's no way i can will myself out of sleeping or sleepwalking but i was going to ask you about hacks in that direction because i think there's a vast array of hacks to draw ourselves or others out of these unintentional states well you can put you can put yourself an alarm the same one you put on a separate alarm to uh, when you when you wake up mm -hmm. you, you want to wait to wake up you can you can uh, you can put yourself an alarm you can ask somebody to remind you about something uh, you can go into a into a situation in which sleepwalking is harder um, mm. you, you you take a plane you go to a country you don't know uh, that probably will not will not allow you to sleepwalk uh, but again Sleepwalking is important because of energy wise. It's, it's like sleeping. If you sleepwalk, you waste much less energy and you're not suffering. So it's even, it's, it's very uniform. How do I wake? And of course, I can do that to somebody else. The problem is that normally you come out from sleepwalking by accident, mostly by accident. Something mm -hmm. happened that it was not foreseen because if it was foreseen, you would sleepwalk through it. If normally every day at six o'clock in the afternoon, you go to eat to have to have a coffee uh, in, a, in a coffee shop. And the guy, and you ask for the coffee for the same coffee, and the guy says, sugar or sugar or sugar free? And you answer automatically sugar free. You are not really in front of a choice. You are not really in an intentional mood. You are sleepwalking. But if the person will ask you, do you want your coffee today or tomorrow? What do you mean tomorrow? That he will wake you up. Uh, what I, what I mean, wake up, I, 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 I don't, I mean, wake up from the sleepwalking. I mean, mm. making, making pause while you, while uh, you are fast forwarding the, the tape. Uh, but from a misalgic point of view, from the avoidance of suffering point of view in life, uh, this kind of situations are not welcome at all. The, 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 this situation you are describing, it's a, a typically annoying situation. Unless you walk in the street, and, and, and that happens sometimes to me, uh, alas, alas, not that often that I see some beautiful, beautiful woman crossing the street, and that will wake me up for a second. Um, and, and she does not do, does it every day. Yes, mm. then I will sleep, walk through it again. Uh, unless that happens, all the other waking up are not good. Normally, it's not but, good news. Mm. No, normally, it's not good news. The interesting thing is that uh, it has to do, you know, to, to understand how. How often we, do, we, we have intention, uh, we, we have an intentional mood because, you know, it's that, that, that half an hour a day in aggregate, yes, not together. Um, I can give you the, the example of dreaming. While you're sleeping, you're dreaming. How much you dream? We know that about nine minutes a night, mm. give or take. That's what the expert says. Um, and how much do we wake up during the day? About the same proportion. That mm. would be 18 20 minutes a day, because again, it, we double double mm. what sleepwalk and then what we sleep. You double what you dream while you, while you are in an intentional mode. Mm. So it's interesting. It, it, of course, correlation is not causation. I'm not saying mm -hmm, the same mm -hmm. thing, but funnily enough, the numbers are, are similar. Interesting. So we'll go back to sleepwalking again in our life and as a topic for our philosophical discussion. Thank you. Thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, comment and subscribe.